Venus is not like any other satellite. For the first time, several regions of the world will be observed every two days for a period of over two years with a ground resolution of five meters. Venus will monitor changes in natural phenomena such as plant growth or variations in snow cover. The Venus satellite demonstrates new services made possible due to the frequent taking of high spatial resolution images in identical site conditions. Venus's first mission is to provide scientists with the means to understand how vegetation responds to climate and human activities. Other applications, such as the monitoring of glacier movements, variations in snow coverage or sediments in estuaries, are also being studied. Until now, a high-resolution Earth observation satellite in heliosynchronous orbit has observed previously defined zones every 10 to 15 days. But cloud cover and the presence of aerosols often limit the production of images. At this frequency, it is not possible to monitor a number of processes such as plant growth. This makes Venus an innovative satellite. It will observe around 100 sites with a revisit frequency of two days. This revisit frequency, which will be maintained for two and a half years, is exceptional for a high-resolution satellite and is a world first. Due to these performances, a high-resolution multi-spectral image will be produced every 10 days, from which clouds and aerosols will be eliminated. For today's scientists, this opens up a whole new field of applications on the condition of the Earth's ecosystems. For example, it will be possible to dynamically monitor the ground coverage and cycles of vegetation, detect plant stress and water requirements, estimate yields, map forest fires and bushfires, map the transport of sediment to rivers and estuaries, and monitor the movement of glaciers and the breaking up of Siberian rivers. How is Venus able to provide cloud-free images? Over the two days separating two consecutive observations of the same site, the cloud coverage and presence of aerosols can change considerably while the vegetation changes very little. The observation angle, observation time and lighting conditions remain constant for a given site. By superimposing images obtained from the stereoscopic shots and using complex algorithms, the CNES and CESPIOR engineers can accurately determine the presence or non-presence of clouds and aerosols and can move away from them after corrections. To do this, the satellite is fitted with a camera equipped with 12 spectral bands ranging from blue to near infrared. The spectral bands were chosen to characterize the condition of the vegetation, to estimate more easily the optical thickness of the aerosols and the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. This makes it possible to accurately correct radiation diffused and absorbed by the atmosphere. Each scientist can therefore choose the range of spectral bands best suited to his or her research field. This innovative scientific mission announces the future of European Earth observation satellites and new methods of exploiting data over the coming years.